welcome to episode four of this uh, DIY build series for our July show of Victoria and Luke's 23 and a half foot on-road caravan. Right, so we've got the CAD done. So uh, I'll show you through that uh, just quickly. All right, let's have a look at um, Victoria and Luke's caravan in SolidWorks 2020. So there we go, the model's complete. Uh, it's completed as far as we need to go for production. So let's just um, remove the roof. Let's have a look inside and um, you can see the um, five partition walls that are gonna be inside this build. Um, we've got three on the passenger side and two on the drivers. So let's just uh, make this roof transparent. And you can see the little tabs that we've got on our uh, partition walls. And we've got some little pockets machined into the, uh, the roof for location. And we've also got these pockets uh, machined into the side wall. You can see there. So that's going to position these um, walls extremely accurately and it will also hand, enhance the strength of this build as well. All right, you can see the conduits that we've got running through the build. We've got uh, styro conduit single up the front there. Um, you can actually bend that as we relieve cut, so that'll make its own uh, cavity again once it's bent. Okay, let's just do a quick sectional view. Let's just have a look at the detail for the Styro Seal LT for the hatch doors. So the request was for those to be uh, flush with the floor. It's just, it makes it easy to sweep out. You've got a tunnel boot or something so We've made that happen so there's a little bit of interference uh, happening there with the floor panel and the styro seal lt doorway so we'll rebate that uh, floor sheet about 1.6 mil to allow clearance but we'll show you that as we go through the build sequence let's have a look at the uh, rear wall we've got um, conduits running up for the tail lights and across the back we've machined some pockets the inside face uh, into these uh, conduits to uh, open up uh, the cavities or join the beams internally together so to speak so we've also done the same at the front where we will get our wires up to our side mar uh, front marker lamps Okay, and just uh, let's have a look at them. We've got some plates in the roof. There's going to be a roof mounted awning uh, with this build. So we've put in some styro plates just under the outside skin to uh, allow the affixing of, uh, of that um, awning at a later date. So there you go. There's the model. Uh, let's get it into production. Now, believe it or not, this is all the styrofoam required for their caravan. So we've uh, had this uh, sent to the uh, CNC machines and uh, we've done the trim back and some routing into the styrofoam where necessary. All right, well, there's a total of about 60 styrofoam boards in this build, so uh, it's quite large. Um, we've got all the uh, fiberglass cut next door. Um, we're ready to laminate these panels tomorrow. Uh, and then send to the CNC's the day after. Now, uh, you might be wondering what inserts we're using in this panel set. We're gonna use a combination of uh, the 40 by 20 Styro Conduit Large. Um, the Aircon unit's gonna get some Styro Beam XHD either side of the cut. Um, it's just 35 by 50, but um, this roof is a 40 mil thick roof panel, so it's gonna 
use the 35 mil styrene so this uh, this beam will be perfect uh, the roof panels also got some uh, styro plates to the outside skin so that's just under the outside skin and that'll be for a uh, roof mounted awning that we put on later okay so the guys have got all the sheets uh, all the fiberglass sheets cut for tomorrow's lamination um, what we're going to use on this build uh, is we're going to use our two mil glass on both the inside face and the outside face um, so we want a little bit of extra strength in this body being so large now if you have a look at the roof and rear wall and front wall combined it's actually 11 meters long so this will be uh, this will be pretty impressive when we pick this up during assembly okay guys well it's the morning after the day before so the uh, all the panels are spread across our three cnc routers so let's go and have a look to check out the cutting eh? okay so here we've got our uh, our lineal saw this is cutting the combined front wall roof and rear wall panel this panel is about 11 and a half meters long so um, you can see it's, uh, it's done all the pocketing for the uh, internal walls to lock into so that's done um, we've got a window cut happening up the back and uh, you hop up here you can see the uh, the pocket that it's machined into the uh, into the protrusion the absolute uh, accuracy of the, of the cut really with the datum points is about 11 and a half meters away so uh, it's pretty impressive the accuracy of these machines okay so this is the inside face of the driver's side wall um, so it's just about on its bottom cut now by the look of it so we've got some pockets machined into the wall for the internal walls to lock into obviously the window cutouts they're getting done it's got a hatch door up the front it's pre-cut for styro seal lt uh, styro lock medium so that hatch door will be ready to be trimmed up with our aluminium extrusion system um, you probably see here that we're also uh, drilling the holes for the side marker lamps as well so that's all pre-done for us and that will uh, provide extreme accuracy uh, when we go and put this thing together starting next week all right down the end here not cut yet but uh, this panel here is uh, this will turn into all the internals all the internal walls so we'll come back and have a look at this one in about half an hour's time okay so we move to the last of the panels for this build uh, we've got the inside face of the uh, of the passenger side wall uh, this machine's cutting that out we've got the three windows there for the bunk beds of course the all important uh, entry door that's important to get into the build so and we've got a couple of hatches um, this one marries up with the other side so it becomes a tunnel boot so yeah again that's uh, getting cut out this should be done in about an hour so you know we'll get this whole caravan cut today across our three machines with absolute ease so as you can see here we've got the tabs we've got the pockets machined into the wall so these uh, internal panels will fall into position we'll glue them into position uh, these uh, pockets obviously help the assembly they also add some uh, strength as well so that's the uh, latest innovation we've got going on here at Styromax so okay that's it uh, all the panels are cut out we've got the uh, side wall here the internals uh, roof front wall rear wall on the other machine we've got the other side wall on the third machine so that's all cut now so we'll get these all stacked up and uh, we'll get ready for assembly next week